Taurus, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a timeless reading for you. Uh, whenever you're drawn to the video or the title is when it's for you. No particular subject, we're gonna take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of. Recent past advice and potential outcome at the end will be an opportunity for an extended way we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your second house, this could be for you. Uh, once again, thank you for the continued support. The easiest way to support the channel is via the likes, the shares, uh, comments, subscribes. Uh, does wonders for the growth. It's very much appreciated. Also, thank you to the Patreon members. You guys are my constants, which is wonderful. Thank you very much. And thank you to those that purchase private reads as well as um, extended reads. It uh, allows me to keep providing these. So thank you very much as well. Okay, so... Description box has all the information you need, and uh, cross watchers, you are more than welcome. Let's see, Taurus. Let's do two more. We have the devil. Okay. Temptation. Right. Something we're aware of. Something we're not aware of. Recent past. Advice. Potential outcome. Okay, we have the star, the page of swords, the king of wands, the queen of wands, seven of cups and the magician. Right. Okay, I'm kind of getting a couple of things here. Um, First of all, there's a need to, I almost feel like be more fluid, be more flexible in your grip of something. Um, because the universe is gonna come in charging in if you're not careful with something. Um, I almost feel like the universe is giving you an opportunity to end something. I'm not going to lie, there's a combination here that would suggest it's something that's in excess. Um, what, we're, what we're aware of is the devil, what we're not aware of, the energy is the devil, what we're not aware of is the nine of cups. Devil and the nine of cups for me is always overindulgence in some form. That can be in the form of alcohol, drugs, sex addiction, this could be shopaholic, this could be constantly on your phone this could be anything that's in excess workaholic um anything that's coming to any sort of um taking over in some form the universe is saying look we're gonna step in if you don't recognize this what we're aware of is the two of cups and if you notice they're not gripped the hands aren't gripped you know even the devil's hand is not gripped here it's allowing the um, the strings to fall through and the water's blending easily because they're not gripping on each other. This could be what you're holding on to. This could be a toxic trait that you're holding on to. This could be a karmic relationship that you're holding on to. Um, whatever it is, there's a need to let go of it. In the recent past is the Four of Cups. For me, you know this. I almost feel like the universe has shown you these signs before, whether this is about thinking of other things, um, perhaps missing something in particular, somebody in particular, um, and it's trying to... I almost feel like it, there's been a warning of some kind here. Your advice is the Ten of Swords. So the advice is to end something. Uh, and to be in the attitude of gratitude, you know, the Four of Cups is, is about not being thankful for the things. 
and perhaps that you've not done that perhaps you've tried this gratitude but then you've slipped away uh, the ten of swords is saying remember for every ending switch the narrative for for every painful ending call it um, um beautiful new beginnings because every ending promotes a new beginning of some kind the potential outcome is the tower and i almost feel like this is a situation here where if you do not heed this warning the universe will come in and do it for you so if this is a karmic relationship and you know it is and you're sticking around knowing that you're not fulfilled the universe is going to step in if this is a job that you're sticking around whatever it is and you know it's not good for you the universe is prompting you whatever this situation is you know what i'm talking about whether it's drink drugs whatever workaholic my fear is if it is something like workaholic and you don't acknowledge it and bring balance you know twos are all about balance um where you know you blend in um, you, you, you're not um you're not working to live and um, you, you work to live not live to work um my fear is if this is and if this is overworking if this is a, a workaholic and you're not bringing balance in the situation the universe can come in and play with your health you know and start saying right well if you're not going to take time off or you're not going to slow down we're going to slow you down for some of you and this is going to be very 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 select few very select few in fact i'm going to be really really specific um, and you'd have to be watching this as soon as i put it out here but for some of you taurus risings if your venus is in the fifth house right now you're gonna have some sort of wish fulfillment coming in the sense of something very very unexpected tomorrow today is the 19th of september tomorrow is the 20th of september and uranus is trying in um venus and i kind of feel like it's going to bring some sort of wish fulfillment somewhere could come in the form of a eureka moment uh, in regards to a vision could even be we've got the king and the queen of um, wands here a divine partnership um but again those are select few i mean I'm, I'm i'm gutted i'm a taurus rising so i'd be like yes no my 12th house and six house are that huge and uh, that my venus is already out of the fifth house and into the six <laughs> damn it um but yeah fifth house is all about kind of romance it can be like increasing money um so these have been you know moments where especially if it's a if gambling's an issue with the devil and the nine of cups um you know don't go crazy I wouldn't normally be pushing you to uh, to do the lottery, but if you're if at this moment in time when I'm speaking to you, you've got um, it's going exact to the trine tomorrow, twentieth um, of September, and it's Venus in the fifth house for Taurus risings. I would put a lucky dip on if I were you, but like I said, do not get carried away. So there's obviously something that needs to come to an end here. I'm ready for the new beginnings. I'm just going to come and look quickly look for the um, um, for Ace of Swords because for every beginning, for every end, there's going to be a new beginning. So when we get to the Ten of Swords, we get to the Ace of Swords again straight afterwards. Incidentally, whatever this is, it will be fast recovery. So we've got card number 16 to card number 17. Okay, let's just see where the Ace of Swords are. For some of you, that your luck is on your side, definitely. We've got the sun with the wheel and the four of wands. Okay. The ace of swords is with the two of pentacles and the four of pentacles. Okay. This is about letting go of control.
for some of you, there's an element of, um, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say laziness. Oh, well, I just did. Um, you need to move your body. I'm getting rock your body, move your body, whatever it's called by um, um, Justin Timberlake. Um, so for health matters, start moving your body. There's something here that's kind of the universe is saying you, you, the devil in the nine of cups might not necessarily be an addiction of some kind. This could be neglecting your body in some form, eating stuff that you know is no good for you. Um, it, it could be anything, like I say. Um, but the universe is giving you a, the universe is giving you a heads up to change something before it changes it for you. Okay. For a lot of you, this is a karmic relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic, okay? But one thing that I will point out is you're going in order. We've got the devil, the tower, and the star. 15, 16, 17. And then what happens then is the moon. And if you want the moon, uh, who's this? Rumi. Rumi says, if you want the moon, do not hide from the night. If you want the rose, do not run from the thorns. And if you want uh, love, do not hide from yourself. Okay? So illuminate. Illuminate the darkness. Illuminate the shadows. This could be shadow work that you think that you're doing uh, and you're really not. Or you're ignoring the aspects that you need to be focusing on. Possibly. If I was shoot, let's just see where the moon is. The Two of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Decision. You need to get clear in what you want and then ground it into reality. Okay. It's going to be full moon in Taurus coming up um, on the 8th of November, which is a big lunar eclipse. Um, so the universe wants you to get clear, you know. When the moon, the full moon's in your sign, it wants to, it wants you to get clear with your manifestation so you can bring them into reality. Okay. All right. Um, in your extended, we'll just look at this deeper. We'll do past, present, and future positives to come in, negatives to watch out for, as well as your next steps. Uh, if this is where um, you leave us, look after yourselves. I, I kind of feel like you know what it is. You know what it is that needs working on. Uh, it's time not to ignore it any further because the universe will come in and deal with it for you, okay? All right, so let me know if it resonates, and I'll see you next time. We have Capricorn, we have Moon in Cancer, Venus in Cancer, Jupiter in Pisces, uh, Gemini, we have Aries and Scorpio, Aquarius, Venus in Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo, Moon in Libra, Venus in Virgo. But we've got cups, lots of cups, we've got swords, we've got wands, and pentacles. Everyone's here, those who stand out, so let me know if it resonates. And uh, if you can join me, fantastic. If not, see you next time. Bye-bye.